Hello friends, welcome to Code Sutra. Let's solve lead code problem number 2024. Maximize the confusion of an exam. See, the problem statement is itself difficult in the problem. If you break the problem statement and the steps of this problem step by step, trust me, it is very easy problem. But if you skip any of those steps, you have to rewrite the code again and again. So try to understand this problem step by step. Don't skip any of the steps. Let, let me simplify the problem statement. The problem statement is very simple. We are given a string which will consider of only T's and F's. It will consider T and F where t is true and f is false and you are given a k which means you can change at max two characters that is you can pick any two characters here you can either pick an f or you can pick a t and you can change them to the other thing say you can change f to a t and you can change a t to an f for example in this problem let's change two characters f t t f and t we change these two characters but it is asked you have to maximize the confusion what is the maximum confusion the consecutive elements will be same for example these two consecutive are elements by changing which two elements will we have maximum consecutive elements which are same let's see let's try and change these two elements if we change these two elements what will be the final thing t t t t and t now what is the maximum length the length is 5 if we change it say and this is equal to the length of the string and this will be our answer that is equal to 5 if we change any other these two t's will be not having the maximum confusion now let's take another example here you can just change one t to f or one f to t so let's pick up let's change this and see what is the answer now f f f t this will be our resulting string how many consecutive f's or consecutive t's are there there are three consecutive f so three will be the answer in this case or you can try changing any other f to t or t to f we can change this t to f also and the final answer will be three now let's take a final example where if we change this f or this f to t we'll be having maximum that is equal to five but what is let's identify how our brain is solving the problem our brain is solving the problem just by taking this string what we did was we took this string and we identified this has just one f why not change this that is the key idea of solving this problem let me explain this once again if k was two what we would do okay the entire string has just two f's and we just have the option of changing two k's why not include the entire string that is the key idea of solving this problem let me give you one more ex example to understand this see there was f f and there was t and an f now k equals 2 which are the two things that you are going to change all right so one option is you will be changing these two f to t's right then what will be the resulting the resulting will be 5 or you want to change this but how did you pick it up you picked up the maximum length which has these two f's and that will be our answer so now let's arrive at the brute force approach what we'll be doing in the brute force approach is we identify all the substrings that is we'll pick up this is one substring ttf is a substring so we'll pick all the substring but what is the key thing in the substring say for example if we pick this substring what is the thing is the minimum of the count of f's or the count of t's have to be less than or equal to k right so here the minimum the number of t's is equal to 4 and the number of f's is equal to 1 what is the minimum of this the minimum of this is just 1 and we are allowed to change one of them so if we change this what will be the length the length will be 5 let me give you an exact opposite example suppose we have f f t f and an f now the count is exactly opposite but again you are allowed to change one character and the minimum of these two is less than or equal to k and thus will be your answer so this is the brute force approach we will generate all the substrings and we will count how many f's are there and how many t's are there if the count is lesser than or equal to k then the answer will be equal to the substring length we can consider that for the answer whether it is the answer or not we will be checking if it is more than answer we will be updating the answer if not 
the answer will be containing to the same but what is the additional calculation we are doing here all right let's take this string for example ttf how many t's does it have it has two t's and how many f's it has it has one f now once you come here add the next t why do you want to compute from the beginning how many t's and f's are there all you need to do is you have to just increase the count here then let's include the next t all you have to do is increase the number of t to 4 and when you encounter the next step this is where the problem begins and this is the beauty what you have to do is you have to increase the count of this f to 2 but if you look here the minimum of these two has exceeded our k value which is which was equal to 1 so if it is exceeding what we have to do is we have to remove this so we have to remove this what we'll be doing is instead of recomputing from once again what we'll be doing is we'll remove whatever was there at the starting position if we remove whatever was there at the po starting position our t will reduce but the count of f will remain the same again we have to reduce why because the minimum of these two is not equal to one so we'll be reducing one more t then the count of t's and f become two again we have to reduce one more thing once we have reduced this f our count one of our count will come below or equal to k so once you have arrived at this again we can compute the answer so that is the key idea of sliding window approach what we will be doing is we will have i is equal to 0 j is equal to 0 whereas j will be our forward pointer and we will have count of f's and we will also have count of t that is equal to 0 and that is equal to 0 finally we will keep track of answer which is equal to 0 initially now let's solve the problem the point is very simple we will be at here so now what is the count of t's and f's the count of ct will increase to 1 now we will see if the minimum of these two is less than 1 less than or equal to 1 can we continue can we continue increasing j yes we can continue increasing j so j goes to the next pointer and our i will be staying here only now let's go to the next point ct becomes 2 and the minimum of these two is still lesser than or equal to so it can still go to the next point and once it goes to the next point this becomes here and still it is less than or equal to 1 so we can recompute the answer what is the recomputed answer here the recomputed answer is 3 at this stage even if we go to further next again ct is equal to 3 and we have minimum 1 that is keeping track of even if we go next that is when the things change where this will become 2 and this will become 3 now we have to change the i pointer to till to this point by deleting that what we will be doing we will be decreasing the count of that particular character that is t will also decrease to 1 and f will also reduce to 1 so let's dive at the algorithm here what is the pseudo code the pseudo code is we will have count of f is equal to 0 and count of t is equal to 0 and initially both the pointers are at the same thing i is equal to 0 j is equal to 0 and our answer initially will be 0 now we'll just be moving the right pointer what is the condition to move the right pointer is that until we'll be definitely moving the right pointer but even before that we have to make sure that the minimum of these two counts is less than k right if the count is greater than k what we'll be doing we'll be deleting the first character that is whichever character was at i will be deleting that and we will be reducing the count of that and we'll be increasing i plus plus so this is for deletion and this is for addition what we are doing is if it is f we'll increase the count of f it will, if it is t we'll increase the count so this is for addition and this is for deletion and you need not delete every time you have to delete only when the minimum of these two is exceeding k only then we'll be deleting the count and we are computing the answer here at every stage if our existing answer is lesser than this we'll be updating the answer if not we'll be continuing with the answer that is what this statement is doing finally we'll be returning the answer so this may be an overwhelming problem but see there are many lead code problems that are very similar to these problems these problems vary from very easy level to hard level but do try solving this problem because they have a very similar approach and if you are able to solve these three problems that is this problem and this was yesterday's problem if you are able to solve these two problems trust me you will easily arrive at this solution and we have a dedicated telegram group 
just to discuss this problems and algorithms i have mentioned the link in the description do consider joining the telegram group finally we have the code see writing the code is here is the easiest part once i have understood the algorithm this is the easiest part so always try to come up with the solution first and then write it on a piece of paper so now it's very easy whatever was in the pseudo code count f count t i j answer is equal to 0 and we are moving the right pointer here here we are adding and here we are deleting and here we are just computing there are only three stages of this answer finally we'll be returning the answer thank you for watching the video please do like share and subscribe